Okay, so in this video, I will be showing you how to label an image data set. So I'll be sharing a link to my Medium article on this, where I've explained this in much more detail. So make sure to check it out. Okay, so for this labeling process, I'll be using a tool called Open Labeling, which is a very good open source labeling tool. So to download it, just Head over to it github over here and you can read all the installation instructions on this page again i've explained all this in much more detail on this article over here so you can read it here as well okay so let's download it download zip and extract it I'll just copy this to the desktop. Okay. Okay, so after unzipping it, navigate to the open labeling master folder. Okay. We have requirements.txt file. These are the four modules that we need for both these scripts to run main.py and main underscore auto.py script. So, as you can see on this open labeling GitHub page, you can install using either of these methods. You can install them individually or you can install them at once by using this command so that's what we'll do open command prompt in this folder containing the requirements dot, dot text file and type pip install minus r and requirements dot txt uh, this will install all the modules with the version numbers that are mentioned in this file so okay i have tensorflow 2.4.1 which i need for guda 11 on my system which i will be using in this main auto py script so TensorFlow 2.4 needs uh, requires numpy 1.19 so you can just go ahead and install numpy 1.19.2 and that's it we're ready to go now we can run this open labeling tool Okay, so we can start with the labeling process. So for section A, we have labeling images. Navigate to the main folder. Like this. Empty the contents in the input folder and class list.txt file. read all these contents okay now open class list dot text file and write the names of your classes i have these two classes with underscore mask and without underscore mask that's what i'll be writing Okay, let's move on to the next step. Next step three, put all your images in the input folder. So put all the images that you want to label. I have these two test images and put them in the input folder. 
and last open the command prompt navigate to the current directories inside the main folder that is it you can run the main.py script in python main.py okay okay so we can start with the labeling process okay uh, let me increase the thickness of the bounding box let's say 5 the default value is 2 okay so this is how you can label the object now to toggle between the images to go to the next image you can press d to go to the previous image press a so you can use a and d to toggle between images and to toggle between classes you can use w and s so this is without mask and this is how you label an image so for this let's go and see the output that has been generated okay so as you can see it has created these two folders pascal underscore voc and yolo underscore darknet so both these files uh, will be empty at first but once you have labeled the image they contain the uh, annotations in them okay so this contains five values the first one is the object id as it was mentioned in the class list text file so this is what all these values represent the first value represents the object class the second two represent the x center and y center the object coordinates and the next two represent the height and width of the bounding box You can read all this on my article so this is how we label an image data set now for the next step to label a video let's follow the same procedure first you can go ahead and empty your input folder put your input video file okay this is the video that we will be using okay just put it inside the input folder and now Okay, so next we'll be seeing how to label know, objects in a video. So the first three, three steps are the same. You empty the contents, write the names of your classes, and put the video in your input folder. Uh, for the next step, we'll use this command. You can see the usage over here where tracker is used to track the object in the, next, in the rest of the images I will demonstrate this once I have run this command okay so use this command run this command and this will first convert the video into individual frames so if you go over to the input folder this will now create an input folder with all the images in it so let's wait and see how many images we have okay so it has finished converting the video into individual frames 
it's converted into 605 images so we go over to the input folder this has 605 images now now to label all these images since we are using a tracker kcf tracker all you have to do is just label one object and then press p as you can see what this does is this uses the kcf tracker to track the objects in all the images and labels them automatically it does this for the next 50 images since we have given the number of frames n as 50 over here so as you can see all the make all the images have been auto labeled up to image number 50 so you can do the same for all the next images similarly label this and press p and this will label all the next 50 images again you can check all these images individually to see for any mislabeled frame so okay this is how we label a video now again uh, you can use uh, different trackers uh, as you can read on open labeling github's page over here to use this dsiamrpn tracker you can follow these three steps obviously it is a very good tracker if you go over to their page so and also I have mentioned it on my medium article the DSIAM RPN is the best tracker so okay now uh, for the next part, I'll be showing you how to label images using a pre-trained models frozen in film graph using main auto not pi script. This this one. So this uses a frozen inference graph that has already been trained uh, on a custom model and you can use that to label other images so i'll be explaining that in the next video or the next part for this okay see you in the next one